Welcome to another rendition of Let's Play Ring of Honor 2015. This is ROH Injustice and our first iPay-Per-View of 2015. Now, as you are aware, only one match in particular was known. <clears throat> Only one match in particular was known for this show, but I have a full card bought up. Just not every match was built up. But the one match that was is gonna get the most time. The world's title match between ROH World Champion Jay Briscoe and Mike Bennett. I will say that this match will not get the time allotted to it. Uh, I just gave that to it because I wasn't thinking. But Jay Briscoe wins via disqualification after interference by both Adam Cole and Maria. When they realized, when Maria realized that Mike Bennett was about to lose. So, instead of letting her man come up short, Maria screws, I mean, costs Jay Briscoe the match. And lets Jay win via disqualification. I mean, yes, you might be thinking now, she screwed Jay out of the match? Or did she screw Mike out of the win? Well, it's like I said, Mike was about to lose, and she she got Mike disqualified. And now you might think, why why would she do that? Well, the simple reason is Why not? Now we move to the next segment. And now we move to the, set up the next match. Which is... Actually... Going to be... Um... Crap. Adam Page versus Tommaso Ciampa. I will get to it in a second, the relevance of this match, or the reason behind this match. But, there is a reason behind this match, and you will find out the reason really soon. Also, Red Dragon vs. War Machine. The last time I ran a pay-per-view, which was Final Battle, Red Dragon was unable to compete because of the fact that those that were, they were supposed to compete against, the Young Bucks, much like they are tonight, they weren't there because they were competing in New Japan. And also, a match that was supposed to take place tonight between Adam Cole and the phenomenal AJ Styles is not going to happen tonight because AJ Styles, just like the Young Bucks, is in New Japan and therefore cannot compete tonight. Um, I decided that originally, originally, both ACH and Jay Lethal were, suppo were supposed to compete tonight, but I decided to change my mind and make it where ACH competes, but Jay Lethal d does not. And now we move to the next match after ACH competes, which I will explain that when I start putting. I will explain that match when I start putting the segments. But now I'm going to explain this match. This match is a four corners of survival match where the winner will receive a title shot against either Jay Briscoe 
or Mike Bennett. Now you know the winner of the match is going to be Jay Briscoe via DQ. So you know, or so you would like to think that things aren't done yet between Jay and Mike Bennett. But I haven't decided yet what's going to happen. As you saw, it's going to be Homicide versus Adam Cole versus Chris Hero versus Mark Briscoe in a four quarters of survival where the winner will face Jay, Lee, uh, Jay Briscoe for the world title. And much like I did uh, on the last episode of Ring of Honor television where I had Ryan Taylor go one-on-one -on -one against Cliff Compton in a way of letting two guys with um, an uncertain um, an uncertain place in the company I let them take the opportunity take their opportunity that they are given take the opportunity that they are given and Take, am I, sorry, take advantage of the opportunity that I'm giving them by giving them a win and maybe just maybe that win will let them find a way onto more shows and get a more safe position in the company and that is why right here tonight it is Jimmy Jacobs against Romantic Touch. I'm going to have Adam Page versus Tommaso Ciampa open the show. And as you can tell, Caprice Coleman and Frankie Kazarian and Jesse White and uh, Caprice Coleman versus Frankie Kazarian and Jesse White versus Tidarius Thomas is the opening match, uh, the pre-show matches for the show tonight. To kick off the show, though, it is the it is the decade. It is decade members B J Whitmer, Adam Page, and Jimmy Jacobs in the ring. One person is missing, and that person that is missing is Roderick Strong. Once again, much like he did a couple weeks ago when Adam Page went up or took B J Whitmer's spot against Michael Logan. Uh, I apologize. I don't think it was Michael Owen. When he took his spot against... Oh, no, it was Michael Owen. I apologize. When BJ got Adam to take his spot against Michael Owen, tonight, Adam Page is taking his spot against Tommaso Ciampa. And that is why Ciampa wins, because... Well, it's a part of it's a part of it. It's a part of the story. It's a part of the problem. It's a part of why Roddy is getting so pissed off at Adam Pay uh, B J Whitmer for, as Roddy puts it, taking advantage of Adam Page and not teaching him a damn thing. And now it is it is this Jay Briscoe in truth. Um, Jay Briscoe in truth. Oh, sorry, Jay Lethal. You know what? I'm not. I, I changed my mind. I'm not doing that segment. Um. Uh. Jeez, I apologize. I'm, I haven't. I, I. I knew the matches I wanted to do. I know the matches I wanted to do. I just didn't. Um. 
That's the backside chicken I wanted to do. This. The Kingdom. Mike Bennett and Maria. And they're talking about the Four Corners of Survival match later tonight. And also they're talking about Mike Bennett possibly walking away World's Heavyweight Champion and leading to next month at Leading to a match next month at Proving Ground against uh, Mike Bennett against Adam Cole, which could have been an interesting match in the, in the uh, to determine the longevity and the stability of the kingdom. And now we move to the next segment, which is which sees Truth Martini and Jay Lethal taunt ACH. And basically, Truth extends a challenge to ACH. That if ACH can beat Truth's selected, selected challengers, then ACH can get a shot to prove that he deserves a chance to get in the ring again against Jay, Jay Lethal for the TV title and that would lead to or that could lead to Jay with ACH against Jay at at Proving Ground and if you don't know what a Proving Ground match is in terms of ROH then you're not really a fan of ROH now are you? But I will say a Proving Ground match is if you can last, I believe if you can last the full time limit with the oh sorry wrong segment if you can last a full time limit with the champion then you end up getting a title shot against the champion at a later date which I believe is how Jay Lethal got his first shot against Generico for the TV title and also how various competitors have fought for the tag team titles oh jeez Wrong segment again. I wanted to include three people. Matt Taven, Jay Briscoe, and Mark Briscoe. We're going to push it up uh, before Romantic Touch versus Jimmy Jacobs. Once again, like I said, this is basically... I guess you could say proving ground a month early, because it's giving the guys an opportunity to prove themselves that they belong in Ring of Honor, and that they they don't have to, that they're just not well in Jimmy Jacobs' case a manager. <coughs> um. I guess now. This would work. Um, manager interference. Maria. You know what? I'm not going to do this because of a later segment that I'm about to book in about in less than five minutes, less than two minutes. And this segment is just going to be basically Maria building up Mike Bennett. And Adam Cole, and I'm going to change, um, that earlier segment, I'm going to change to include, okay, I know what I'm going to do, okay. This is going to be Jimmy, BJ, and Roddy. Jimmy, Adam, Page, and Roddy. And this one's going to be the one including the burst guy. I apologize. Because 
um, you know, in the in the standard of the feud, you want to make Mike Bennett look as good as possible. So Mike Bennett wins. I mean, Mike Bennett gets to get his heat back. I guess you could say by the promo from Maria, and also Adam Cole gets some hatred against him before his match to give him something. Um, now we move to the announcers, which the announce position is kind of strange. The announcers are kind of strange for the pay-per-view. As it is Bobby Cruz Bobby Cruz. I'm doing this because this is the only way to get road agents to come up. Bobby Cruz, Bruce Pritchard, Kevin Kelly are the announcers, and this is the segment I want to do as the announcers talk up the main event between Mike Bennett and Jay Briscoe. I'm going to cut this because I'm running out of And I'm not gonna have this because of the, because I need a little time for this. Um, no, this is what happened. video um or another video um Mike Bennett Adam Cole attack Jay Briscoe after the match and that leads to Matt Taven interfering I mean Matt Taven running in for the save the reason why Mark doesn't run in doesn't run in is because of the fact let me just push this time up to give me some more time uh, the reason why Mark doesn't come in is the four corners of survival match that's that's the reason why Mark doesn't come in Mark doesn't come in for that reason because he's still recuperating from that match um can I do something like that? Okay. What we need to do is this. Adam Cole, Jay Briscoe, and yep, Matt Tate. As you can tell, the reason why that's happening is because of the fact that I have a crap load of segments and not as many matches. Or the timing on the matches isn't very high. So let's raise that timing. And considering both these guys are mid-carders, maybe let's raise this timing up to over 10 to give them some time to prove themselves. And now, without further ado, let's run the show and see what see what goes down. The pre-show match between Frankie Kazarian and Caprice Coleman hits a 62, a very solid pre-show match. Tenarius Thomas and Jesse White land a 45, which is the reason why they were the pre-show match. 32, B.J. Whitmer was never and still is not very good at talking. He's just really over Caprice Coleman, I mean, uh, sorry, T Tommaso Ciampa defeats Adam Page with Project Ciampa. This leads to an argument between BJ and Roddy, where Roddy basically is going off on BJ for taking advantage of Adam Page and making Adam Page fight the battles that BJ is too scared to fight. This pisses off both men, but Adam and Jimmy, Jimmy get in between them. 
Now we get a backstage segment with Jay Briscoe, I mean Mark, and Matt Taven wishing Jay luck and saying that they got Jay's back if the Kingdom try anything tonight. Now we move to the next match, which is Red Dragon against War Machine. Red Dragon defeats War Machine with Bobby Fish defeating him. Jay Lethal and Truth Martini move on to taunt ACH. And all you just hear echoing is, Go, go, ACH! You know, the crowd's behind ACH, let's put it that way. And very against Jay Lethal. Truth lays out the, the gauntlet, saying that if ACH can beat selected challengers from the truth, from truth, then ACH will get his shot, will get a chance to face Jay Lethal one more time to prove that he be to prove everyone wrong that ACH belongs in the ring with a top star like Jay Lethal. Ignore that. Jay Lethal ACH defeats Ryan Pierce using his finish, ready or not, here I come in a solid match as ACH slowly but surely is climbing up the card as he approaches a big match against Jay Lethal possibly in the near future now we move backstage where Roddy is talking with Adam Page and Jimmy Jacobs and they are arguing over um, uh, Jimmy and Roddy are arguing over BJ and Roddy tells Adam if he sticks with him he can make him champion as J uh, but Roddy tells that to Adam after Jimmy walked away because Jimmy's match with Romantic Touch was next. As I mentioned before I started going through the results of the show, um, this match was designed to be much like Cliff Compton versus Ryan Taylor was on the previous episode as a way to you know maybe get somebody a win and more so solidify their spot here in Ring of Honor. Now we move to an an interview segment with Maria and her guy and her boys from the kingdom as Maria tries to put over and, and Maria puts over Adam Cole and Mike Bennett as both Mike Bennett and Adam Cole enter four corners of survival and the an ROH world title match respectively speaking of the four corners of survival Adam Cole Chris Hero, Mark Briscoe, and Homicide jolt in to the four corners of survival where the winner gets a shot against Jay Briscoe. And yes, to shock the ROH wrestling fan base and the fandom everywhere, Homicide gets the win and Homicide gets the victory over Adam Cole, Chris Hero, and Mark in Four Corners of Survival, and that means Homicide is number one contender to the ROH World's title. Following that match and prior to the main event, it is Bobby Cruz, Bruce Pritchard, and Kevin Kelly in the booth. Bobby Cruz is a short-time ring is a short-time announcer, and much like Larry Legend in Evolve, he doubles as the ring announcer and announcer Bobby Cruz Bruce Pritchard and Kevin Kelly talk up the main event Mike Bennett Jay Briscoe and the X Factor Maria for the ROH world's title 2939 Mike Bennett Jay Briscoe Jay Briscoe wins via disqualification when Mike Bennett was disqualified when Maria and Adam Cole attack Jay Briscoe, causing the disqualification. Jay retains the ROH world title, but does not get the chance to celebrate. As Jay is being attacked by Adam and Mike, and Matt Taven runs in and interferes, or runs in to make the save for Jay, as his brother Mark was still recuperating after a hard-fought match, Hard fought four corners of survival, but this leads to Matt saving Jay from the kingdom. 
only to turn his back on Jay Briscoe. And does this mean that Matt Taven is a part of the kingdom? You have to tune in this Thursday night on ROH television for ROH TV to find out is Matt Taven a part of the kingdom? Or did Matt Taven just turn on Jay for his own selfish reasons? We're done here tonight for the first iPay-Per-View of 2015 for Ring of Honor. Till next time. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. What was your favorite part? What do you want to see? Who do you want to see here in Ring of Honor in the upcoming future? And what do you think of our top storyline between the Briscoes and the Kingdom? Till next time. Peace.